this is one three inch 150 pound wafer type that means flangeless wafer type dual plate check valve it opens like this these two are dual plates this dual plate check valve internals consist of two numbers of these two numbers of flaps d safe or semicircular flaps and spring this is the spring and these two flaps and spring are mounted on hinge pin this rod is hinge pin and this rod is stop pin this is plate bearing and this is plate bearing and this is body bearing and this is body bearing this side one washer is there this is one washer and this side another washer is there this is one washer this stop pin is provided so that dual plate check valve means dual flap cannot be folded fully maximum it can be folded like this if it is folded fully then the spring will be compressed so much that the plate or the flap may not be tight in closed condition that's why this stop plate has been provided so that the flaps will be stopped after some traveling like this the flaps cannot be folded 100% so this is hinge pin and this is stop pin and outside the valve this is hinge pin retainer and this is top pin retainer on this side also this is hinge pin retainer and this is stop pin retainer this is precast body and this is the internal during manufacturing this disc and this spring with these bearings are installed first inside the valve body then this hinge pin and this stop pin is provided from outside and then it is provided with lock on both side of the valve like this design standard of this type of wafer type dual plate check valve is api 594 for carbon steel valve this valve body is of carbon steel that means astm a216 grade wcv and all these internals are of 13 chrome steel or stainless steel and for stainless steel valves both valve body and valve internals are of stainless steel this is the seat this is integral seat with the body over this seat dual plate or dual flaps rests like this like this now how to install this type of wafer type dual plate check valve this is actually mounted in between two flanges and disc opens or plate opens like this but this type of horizontal installation is wrong is not correct because in this case the flaps or plates has to be opened against spring action and also against the gravity that's why in horizontal plane dual plate check valve should be installed like this so that this hinge pin will be in vertical portion and flaps will be opened in horizontal plane so that there will not be any effect against gravity it will be opened and closed in horizontal plane this type of dual plate check valve can be installed on vertical piping but in that case flow direction should be 
from bottom to top like this and valve will be opening like this. Now regarding installation of this dual plate type check valve it is opening like this so this side is upstream side and this side is downstream side. On upstream side of this dual plate check valve minimum 5D straight length should be there so that steady state flow will come to the check valve and flap will be opening smoothly like this like this if there is no straight length on upstream side of this valve then the flow will be turbulent and valve disc will be chattering like this like this disc will be chattering like this due to turbulence or turbulent flow and spring of the valve will be damaged and on downstream side this side about 2d or 3d minimum straight length should be maintained because when fluid flows through the valve inside the area is smaller than pipe cross sectional area so there will be more velocity inside the valve that means there will be more kinetic energy and less pressure energy if we provide 2d or 3d straight length after the valve then in this zone that pressure will be recovered now this is one 3 inch 150 pound raised face flange so for mounting this valve first we have to provide one gasket this is one ring gasket then we mount the valve like this like this and on this side again one gasket and then flange then pipeline and the start should be through and through and one nut will be provided on this side and another nut will be provided on this side over the flange. So this side of the valve, this face of the valve should have serration for gasket leak tightness and, and this side of the valve should have serration for gasket leak tightness. For this valve, this serration has been provided. This is the serration. This is the serration. This side of the valve is having serration. This is serration. And also, this side of the valve is having serration. This is the serration. For gasket leak tightness. In some cases, we have found that vendor has not provided serration on this face and on this face. Vendor has supplied the valve with plain face this side and plain face this side. So if this type of serration is not provided, then it will be difficult to get leak tightness.